How's it going guys? It's Aru Junkie here and today I just wanted to talk to you a little more about factory set protection. Now if you just saw my Samsung Galaxy S7 video, I shot off a trick on how to get past it um, and I think you just don't quite realize the gravity of that trick. Um, so to that extent, this is my Nexus 6. Uh, it's on Android and beta, latest security patch from April. and we're going to show you how to do basically the same thing on here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. I just reset this phone. Now I guess I do have to admit it's currently not factory set protection locked, which is kind of a bummer, but just to show you the process. Um, just because I think once you unlock the bootloader, you can't ever get that back. So uh, I'm just going to go in here. And the way if you are locked right here, um, you're going to connect to um, a Wi-Fi hotspot, so technically that's what I've got right here. See, tethering hotspot is turned on on this phone. Um, so I'm going to connect to that spot, and then if you turn it off right when it's checking connection, or right after it's checking connection, you kick it in and it'll get you past the uh, Google previous account sync thing and go to the put your name in. So I'm actually just going to skip that part, but you're going to see it because I'm just doing this unedited. Uh, cancel that. Let me actually put in my password really quickly. Okay. So there you go. It's connecting. So like right right back there just a second ago. We're checking network to give your phone finished touches. Just take a second. You're actually going to kill the network. And then what it's going to do is it's going to kick past the uh, account previous sync screen and go right into input your name. Um, that trick should still work from what I've seen. Um, there is a way to still kill your, your Wi-Fi hotspot at the appropriate, appropriate moment. I think it's right there when it says software updating. That's when you'd kill it. And instead of doing checking info and showing you this, it'll go directly to this screen. Okay. So to get past that, if I was actually truly FRP stuck there, that's how we get past. All right, so from here, we're just gonna go in here, skip anyway, and make sure once you get past that, you definitely turn your uh, tethering spot back on so that you get connection up here in the top. And then you're just gonna go in here to policies. You're gonna scroll down here, and as you can see, you can still do shares, and you can bring up applications this way. But what I wanna use is I'll show you here if I can highlight something. I'm going to come over here and now you have web search which is actually blocked but you have assist. If you have assist you're you're basically in. So you can hit assist and it says that there's a force close but you can see it still did something so we'll close it and right here we're just going to hit no thank you and then you can do a google search but that's not where we want to be yet. So what we're going to do is go back again Say no thank, no thank you, skip for right now. Just go into the process one more time and it's gonna give us a better window to play with and you'll see. So go ahead and just hold down on something. Again, do assist. Now we have better menus and now we should be able to do, okay, not yet. We're gonna do this first. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna go to settings, now cards, Turn on now cards, hit no thank you, and now we can bring up any application that's on the phone just by typing it in, and it searches for it, like Chrome. So we're gonna use Chrome, and we're going to accept this and say hey, no thank you, and then we're gonna go to my site, rootjunkiesdl.com, and like I said, if you've seen my video on the uh, S7, this is, we're going to do the same thing. It's basically the same thing. And we're going to be able to sign into an application or sign into our, our Google account, technically, um, by calling a certain, uh, what do you call it? Uh, go ahead and allow that. And allow that. Uh, by calling a certain shortcut. That's what I was trying to say. So we can hit open. And then it's going to ask you to allow block settings. So you're just going to go into unknown sources, hit OK. Then you're going to go back. I like to go back again, download the application one more time, 
hit replace file, and then this time it'll come up and then we should be able to get into it. So hit open, hit install, and this will install this quick shortcut maker. You can accept that. Um, and as soon as that installs, you can hit open. Then we can do our search. Again, like I said, this is very repetitive. Um, if you've seen that other video. For Google Manager, click on the thing. Scroll down here to type email and password. Hit try. Come up here in the top corner. Browse. Browser sign in. Hit OK. And then I'm going to sign into a Google account really quickly. And obviously this is going to be a Google account that wasn't synced on this device previously. Um, and, or, how else do I guess you could say it, um, that, you know, is a Google account you have access to. Maybe the one on your phone you can't remember passwords or whatever the reason is. So I'm going to sign into that. And then I'm also going to put in my password. And sign in. And you see it's checking something really quickly and then it goes back, right? Okay, so from here, we've actually done everything we need to do. And we just got to go back out, 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 out. And then finish going through the setup wizard. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back. If I go back one more screen, you should see my email. I think I'm going to try to cover this stuff up here for you. All right, so there's an account that's already been added there. That's all this says. It says that there's a, oh, that one says your name. Let's go back one more. There it is. So there says there's an account that's been added, account added. You can see it grow my finger. And then you just hit next. And it does this just a sec, okay? So when it does just a sec, this could take, not just a sec, this could take 10 minutes, all right? Um, so we're just going to wait for it. Once it finishes, since you have a Google account already added, it'll finish through the setup wizard, and that's really it. You're gonna go right into the device, finish the setup wizard here, and you'll be done. You will have bypass factory set protection on this device. So, for giggles, for giggles, see around Wi-Fi, we're gonna wait it out. And while we do, let's talk a little bit about what we've got going on here. Um, one, I'm shooting right here. This is my uh, Nexus 6P camera, back-facing camera in 1080p. So if you're curious about what I'm recording with, that's what I'm recording with. Uh, also, the uh, using my Note 5 over here for the tethering. And my S7 is still kind of in factory set protection mode, and I'm still tinkering with it. Um, I guess some of you guys are saying that one of the, the main way I get into different settings deeper on S7 is the upgrade like services uh, menu. And I guess a lot of phones don't have that. I don't know. I wasn't aware. I know only what I know on the phones that I have. So I can only test so much. Unless somebody wants to send me more phones. If you guys want to learn more or me to do a lot more videos on factory set protection, Reach out to me, and uh, if you want to send me a phone to play with and learn how to do it, and sh you know, spend some time figuring it out and make a video on it, uh, I'd be happy to do that. But I have a limited budget and only so many phones, so actually quite a few phones, but still not a lot. You know, you know, here's one, here, here's another one. I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot, but okay. So you see that that let me continue. So we're gonna say uh, not now again. All right, see, it's different. Later. And shabam, we are in. So there's the two downloads of the same application. You can see that's why they're on there twice. Scroll down and you go into settings. And right here, we'll go in there. There it is, Nexus 6, Android N, April 2, security patch, build number on the bottom. And I guess if you can also see it here. Right there it is. See? It tells you your build number and everything right there on the beta. So, uh, the point I'm trying to make is that the fact that we can use this shortcut and then sign in through the web browser uh, gets you into anything. If you can get to the point where you can use Chrome or where you can maneuver a little bit into your phone and get into settings or anything, because we have that little trick exploit, you can reset any phone, uh, bypass factory set protection on pretty much everything 
as long as you can get in deep enough to do that. Um, most phones have a weakness somewhere. Everyone's, every phone that I've seen is, is a little bit different, so you're going to have to play with them to figure that out. But, uh, yeah, pretty insane from, what, from, from my end of it anyway. Uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. And uh, stay tuned for more on factory set protection. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll do some more research on it. But something I've been enjoying doing, as you guys can probably see. And, um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Very, very cool for me to kind of figure out little tweaks and tricks. And there's so many back doors. As soon as you open one little crack, you're in. It's, it's kind of hilarious. So uh, there you go. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.